Hello and welcome to my GeoGuessr Daily Challenge Day 107. Now, we're hoping for a silver or a gold, but I'd just like to take a moment to appreciate what a weird rainbow the last week has been. I have been all over... Was that already full screen? I have been all over the place with my GeoGuessr games. So let's hope for some consistency today. Um, South America to start, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. Can I get up up on that road? Can I go up here? Oh, oh it's only a one-sided sign anyway. I was going to say, that sign looked really helpful. Let's hunt for some more signs. I definitely think it's South America. Agree, I agree with my own assumption. I don't know what that means. Was that sign's been hit by someone? From the opposite side of the road, because it was bending forward. Does that mean someone's had a bit of an incident, gone off the road entirely, onto the other side and hit? Dot B-O, Bolivia. Oh, it's nice to have a country. Smack. Uh, the Rehabilitation, Tramo, Rio, something. Something about Bolivia. ISO. I'm trying to see if there's any like more specific. I've got a longitude. <laughs> if I knew my longitudes and latitudes, I could work out where we are from that side. There's a nice Bolivian flag. That's actually a really nice flag. Because obviously when you're um watching, when you're like, sorry, stop talking. Uh, are we on a border? Are we entering Bolivia? La Plata? De la Patia. Okay, so we're entering Bolivia, I think. Does that... Well... So, say I was heading the other way. If I go this way for a bit, am I going to find the other country? Because borders tend to be two ways. What is that then? Is it a border? There can't be this much random no man's land between Bolivia and some other country. Ah, oh, my last minute swap did not work out. Last minute, I'm like, let's put us on the border with Argentina. And we're actually on the border with Peru. I think I've got one of my mustache hairs in my nose, and it's irritating me a lot. So I keep touching my nose. Sorry. Okay. Still happy we got Bolivia, but not the best score in the end. This place is very interesting. Is this India? Ooh, what's that flag? What is that flag? That looks very much like it could be Indian. Yeah. I think we're on another Indian trekker. Let's see if we can find a sign describing the place. Come around here. I can't go that way apparently. That's, excuse me. That's a cool tower. I like that tower. Can I go down there? No. Uh, set checkpoint. Go home. Let's head down. I really don't think down's going to help much more, but it's the only other way I can go. Let's put a marker down. Oh, 
We're on a mountain above a city. But India's got a lot of big cities, so... Down there could be anywhere. I'm just... Is that just a random red flag? Because India's flag isn't all red. What a city. But as I said, like, India's huge. And very populous, like... That could be an average size city for India, not a big one. There was an option to go sideways here. Where does this take me? Oh! Come on, I just want to sign. This is just like... Not even geo-guessing, it's just random monument guessing. Need to learn my Indian monuments. Oh, I found a sign and it's in Hindi. I think Hindi is the right language. No. Oh, hello. I've been down here before, although I've been on the other side. We're going to get a good view of the city from here. Yeah, it's a nice view. I would think we're in a big city. I'm going to put us in Nashik. Well, as I say, not big, but like, not bad. We were in Chittagara, in the Chittagara Fort. Oh, Canada. Okay. There's a trick with Canada and number plates on the front or back of the car. I don't know the trick. Just need to work out what province we're in. It feels very far north. This sort of by the water real estate would be much more packed if we were near the American border. I feel like it's a lot more valuable down there. But Canada has a lot of coastline as you get further north. Coastline's less valuable. Because less people want to live up where it's cold and away from everything. I'm not saying no people want to live there, but less people do. No parking, fire truck. So the coastline this whole time has been west, southwesty, and there's some islands. We're over here somewhere, like New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island. It could be any of these. See, that looks... Yeah, even that looks too busy. So does that. Like over there, or even just up there. Admiral's Beach. Welcome to the town of Admiral's Beach. It'll be quite ambitious for me to spot Admiral's Beach, but I think I have a pretty good vibe of where we are, so having to check anyway. If we could just find a state sign. Start province. Newfoundland. Okay. I just realized I've been looking on the east. This is the west. York Harbour? Come on, Admiral's Beach must be near there. Parsons, Portland, Daniels. Eddies. No, none of those work. Anderson Cove, that's so close to Admiral's Beach. Oh, I was up here on Long Island. Whoa, wait, where's Admiral's Beach?
Wait, that's what I guessed. Wasn't I looking down here? Did I... Did I move my marker somewhere dumb? Because, yeah, I was looking long here. I think at least. There's Admiral Speech. That's confusing. I don't know what I did wrong then. That's a shame. Kyle of Locklish. Lock. Lockhouse. Is that lock as in Scottish lake? Or is that lock lash as in just lock lash? Hmm. We shall find a part out. Look at this golden bus. Hello, gold bus. The Railway Museum, Craft Shop, Waterside. Come on, this place must be. Sea Probe, Atlantis. You... Are we? We're in. Plockton? We're in the Plockton Visitor Centre. We're in Plockton. And I think Plockton is going to be... Lock, yeah. Plockton must be in Scotland. Near the A87. Here's the A's. A87. We're out near the water here. Kyle of Locklash, isn't that where we are? Kyle of Locklash, yeah. Um, oh yeah, wait, look. That's where we are. At the end of this road, with that weird symbol, we went up, read a sign there. Hey, that was a nice 5,000. What a good round. I really liked that one. I know I'm happy when I get them right, but I feel like that was when I got right, but it was also really interesting to like decode and... Canadian flag. I don't know. That was just a nice little, like, satisfying puzzle around. All the clues were there. You didn't have to travel 30 kilometers down the road and hope you could find a clue. Uh, Murphy Road, St. Norbert, Rexton. Doesn't help me with what province I'm in. And apparently this is the only road I'm allowed to go, I'm allowed to go down. This road's not going to lead anywhere. Look at it. It's huge. Murphy's auto sale and salvage. Okay. I think I'm more central Canada this time. And I think I'm near the American border. I'm going to go... Which way did I go last time? I passed a house really quickly. A house with a Canadian flag. So, I want to go the other way. Come okay, on. Here we go. No, it's just an intersection. I got excited for no reason at intersection. Okay, that car had a front number plate. I think that means it can't be Alberta. But that's like a really weird thing right in the back of my head. That is probably just me piecing words together in the wrong order. St. Peter's Catholic Church. I'm going to slow down a bit and look for road markers. Because apparently there's something I should be looking for, and I often fly along too quickly and miss them. Is that a road marker? No. 
anything to this bridge. Just a piece of red, pla green plastic on a wooden pole. Saint Marie and Rexton. Saint Marie's got a little bit of a French vibe to it, but the other places haven't. I'm going to stay where I am. I should have moved. Damn it. Saw that French vibe and should have moved. I don't think they explicitly speak French in New Brunswick, but it's near the areas with the French influence. That's a shame. Oh, we only barely just crested 5,000 that time. That's scary. Quick comparison to Atop, although he did a lot better than us. In fact, let's just look down here. Do we beat him in any rounds? We beat him on round three. Which was the other Canada round. In fact, we did pretty well for most of them. We just copped a big loss on that last Canada round. Yeah, I just got a little bit closer there. And we both got... Did I get it faster than him? It's about time now. No, I didn't. Okay, it's not about time at all. Time doesn't matter. <laughs> um, good on him. That was a great round, that one. I really liked it. And look at such a big, obvious Kyle of Locklash. Anyway. Uh, oh, it's not Lock Lash. I've had an extra L every time. It's Lock Alsh. Oh no, I've not added the L. I've swapped the L and the A. Lock Alsh. It looks like a very nice place. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye.